All right, welcome back to Rob Schmidt tonight. A huge blow for Open Borders Biden, a federal court ruling. The DACA program is illegal. Obama lacked the authority to institute the Deferred Action for Childhood Arrivals program back in 2012, is what they say. The regulation halted deportations and granted work permits for certain immigrants who were brought here as kids illegally. But the court did stop short of completely dismantling DACA, stated DACA migrants who are currently enlisted could continue to receive legal protection in the country. The ruling ordered a judge, a Texas federal judge, to continue to take up review of the program. The Fifth Circuit also ruled the Biden administration could not process any more new applicants. Biden's response? This challenge to DACA is just another example of the extreme agenda being pushed by MAGA Republican officials. Extreme agenda, like not having an open border. Whew, dangerously extreme. Ken Cuccinelli was a top DHS, DHS official under Donald Trump, and he joins us now. So what exactly does this mean, Ken? Well, it means the Fifth Circuit, uh, as the district court had done, found that the DACA program, which was an attempt to with a, by Obama with his pen and phone, you remember yeah. that, to create an entirely new class of legalized aliens by executive action. And what the court said today is that the district court was right in saying Congress has created lots of categories of legal aliens. And by doing so, they made it clear that those who are not in those categories are not legal aliens including the DACA recipients. Now, yeah. out of what amounts to sympathy, they didn't shut the program down yet, um, but they did block the federal government from adding any new applicants to it. And the, the other reason they didn't shut it down immediately and that they sent it back to the district court judge is that after the Supreme Court ruling a while back that didn't touch the legality of DACA, um, the department under Alejandro Mayorkas went back and processed another regulation. So what the court said is, you've got our ruling. Now I want you to rule on the new regulation in light of the guidance from this court. So, yeah. But even the White House and, and Alejandro Mayorkas are talking in terms of knowing that the court is going to find their new regulation illegal because of the reason given. They said this Congress didn't do this. Only right. Congress can do this. It's it's so simple. You know, it's 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 overreach. I mean, that, that's why Congress is there. Think logically, Rob. This the same the same reason that that Biden can't just go and erase student loan debt and just spend four hundred billion dollars. It's complete and utter nonsense. Is the same reason Obama, the deporter in chief, couldn't do this as he tried to pander to the Hispanic vote uh, to get reelected. Um, the, the the funny thing is watching how. Everybody on the left, nobody wants to deal with any of this. Nobody wants to deal with the problem that is an open border. You just saw what AOC said a couple days ago, you know, when, when she, she successfully got the migrant camp pushed out of her district in the Bronx, the one that went, yeah. to, the, went to the border and cried. Uh, as soon as they come to her district, she says, get out, get out right now. The mayor in New York, Eric Adams, doing a 180 on this as well, claiming migrants shipped to his sanctuary city are undermining New York. Listen to this. This is undermining our economy and is undermining our attempt to recover in our cities that we're already dealing with crises from COVID to monkeypox to crime to housing. Yeah, the earring mayor there that just wants to look cool and go to the clubs. Uh, you know, obviously he had to say he was open border. It's a sanctuary city. He's so proud of it. Nobody wants this. And this is exactly well, thank, the problem. Thank God, Arizona, New Mexico, California and Texas and Florida, you know, they have the seaborne ones don't have any problems of their own that they have to deal with. Exactly. And, and, and the reality is every town's a border town when you look at problems like fentanyl and so forth. So look, the mayor has been called on his political virtue signaling BS, as was Mayor Bowser in DC and Lightfoot in Chicago. They're all being called on it by DeSantis and by Ducey in Arizona and Abbott in Texas. Yep. And, and they're folding like cheap suits. And it's really pretty amazing given how close to a relevant election they are, that they aren't holding their tongue and, you know, giving you clips like you just played and, and demonstrating vigorously their hypocrisy on this issue.
It's yeah. just stunning to see. And all and all this does, all this does is, is is force Congress to do what it always should have done. I mean, these DACA kids, by the way, are now like 40 years old. So I mean, let's let's first start with that. A lot of them are. Um, but it just the, the the fact is, this is something that Congress needs to do that presidents can't do. And all this is doing is a check on power when it goes too far. And of course, it gets blamed on MAGA Republicans. I mean, the, the president is such a joke on this. Ken, thank you for clarifying what this means. We appreciate it. Good to be with you.